I will, I will uh, give the floor, uh, last but not least, to the representative uh, from the Italian Digital Transformation Team, uh, Roberto Poli, that uh, I'm sure we will give us a very interesting and relevant overview of uh, the Italian technical approach to the adoption of, um, of APIs. Uh, Roberto, the floor is, is all yours. Hello, I will, um, I'm trying to share my screen. Or if um, Monica can um, just present my slide, it would be probably simple. So I can even read the, the chat. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to check, um, yeah. I have them also in case. Yeah, I cannot have it. I mean, I don't have it in this computer, sorry. Okay, um, I will, I will. My, my well, bad. I, I will send. The I have them the here, Roberto. I have oh, them here. Oh, great. Thank you. So I will open the chat in parallel. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, it is great to be here. I'm Roberto Bolli from the Italian Digital Transformation Department, and I'm taking care of the Italian API ecosystem. Uh, today, I will present you part of our work and some challenges we would like to share with you and find if there is a way to cooperate with other agencies. I'll try to be very short. So we will have some time to discuss, hopefully. So uh, we will, I will, will present you the current API framework. Then in Italy, we will in, we introduce a simplification decree. It's a law that explicitly states uh, that APIs are important. And, and then uh, I will present you some of our challenges and specifically about life cycle and security. So our API framework in Italy uh, wants to achieve a consistent design and reliability and security for more than uh, 12,000 agencies. Uh, and it, it does it via central catalog and API guidelines. Our framework and guidelines are evolutionary because we are going to continuously interact with other agencies, international standards, and member states to understand when we need to change something and to be always uh, up to date with current technologies and security challenges. One of the pillars is a central API catalog. We are currently an online beta with a few APIs. And the real one is under construction. It will provide a unique discovery point for digital services, but it will not mediate, just like the French one, the interactions between different agencies. Uh, the catalog will have the role of ensuring uniformity of schemas and metadata, metadata while APIs go uh, are on board. On the other side, we have API guidelines that wants to uniform the design of REST and SOAP web services. And we are providing tools to help agencies in, and their suppliers clearly uh, for um, this uniform design. This is one simple example of those tools. Oops, uh, can you please uh, use the link? I added some, some slides. Um, oh, not it, it's, it's a link I sent you in, okay. Uh, I sent you the link uh, in the, in the chat. Okay, um, we provided some uh, 
some tools to validate the APIs and uh, to, um, I'll try to share my screen then. Um, Okay, no problem. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay, so this is an API validator. It's an online one where uh, everybody can check if their uh, API specification are uh, aligned with the um, guidelines. For example, in this case, we have some missing properties and uh, specification that doesn't use an HTTPS server. So we want people to use HTTPS. And uh, we are going to provide even validator tools that can integrate these checks and other semantic checks into the delivery pipeline of agencies and suppliers. Because one of the problem with guidelines is that uh, they are hard to be enforced from suppliers. So let's speak about normative innovations we had in 2020. Uh, the Italian law, law now explicits that data should be provided via interoperable, API, interoperable APIs. And uh, more important, not providing APIs may impact on agencies' results and on their manager bonuses. And we hope that this can simplify the API adoption. Another innovation is a platform for authentication and authorization between agencies. One of the issues in API provider providing was the inability uh, to establish a correct trust between data providers and consumers. So we are going to provide a trusting platform just like EIDAS or AD that enables the authentication, authorization and tracing between agencies and uh, API consumption. Well, generally, uh, let's speak about challenges. When we establish a technical specification framework, we have some challenges. The ch those challenges are our complexity because we have a, we try to mimic usually uh, bureaucratic non-digital processes and map them to convoluted APIs without a proper design. So we will end in digital processes that are mm, not digital transformation but just a digital transposition of the paper complexities. We have time constrained engineering because we, for example, have a work group to, uh, that need to achieve some goal and we don't have enough time to do the proper design uh, and the proper engineering. So we have to implement some use cases in a short deadline we adopt a closeted development where the IT community is not involved. So for example, one ministry of depart or department should provide some functionalities and they do it in a closed environment, in a short time frame, and this will eventually end in something that is not interoperable. And on the other side, we will have redundancy because different agencies, different ministries do something, uh, solve similar use cases in different way uh, without keep, keeping in touch with uh, original communities. All these are challenges that have negative impacts on interoperability. So let's see some of our challenges. The first one 
Lifecycle Management, API Lifecycle Management. With the catalog, we want to uniform the API approach to API as a product. But to do this, we need to provide a maturity lifecycle information. So there are many strategies. We can provide this information with side channels. We can provide this information into Open API specification, for example, via X properties. However, we provide this information. We need to create a registry and identify maturity stages for APA and software products. And here in Italy, we have an established software use catalog and we are trying to find links between maturity stages in API and maturity stages in open source project, uh, products. And then uh, there are tools to assess maturity stages. We opened the discussion within the Open API community. Uh, we filed this issue and we got different contribution by David Berlin, by Eric, which is here, and by Lorenzino. And you're welcome to provide uh, your feedback in this, uh, in this issue. I will provide you a link uh, at the end of the presentation. And so this is about lifecycle management. Another big challenge is security. There are many solutions to secure HTTP APIs, but most of them are not standardized or are in draft status. For example, I got in touch with IETF and Etsy and PSD2 folks and they are uh, experimenting on different paths. On the other side, there is the JWS uh, standard that is widely adopted, but it's questioned for being too flexible uh, to be secure, too flexible to be secure. And this is an important thread to follow for uh, our work group and our agencies. Then there are algorithms and protocols. The, in, the industry is, low, is really moving away from RSA, but newer algorithms are not always supported by suppliers and tools. Moreover, HTTP2 and the ongoing work on HTTP3 pose new challenges. And the, this is a very interesting thread. I see there is an ongoing work on this. About it, the Italian framework, we want to, we have, well, a thread on assessment tools. We really like to cooperate on our valid API validators with other agencies. We um, try to write, uh, we try to write API rules and guidelines that are suitable both for the private and public sector. We opened a new thread on API, open API security. So find rules to validate, validate the security of open API specification. And we really need um, feedback from other organization and share the work with other organization. And uh, finally, uh, we want to find useful technologies and standards for our new authentication and authorization platform that will, in a similar way of the French one, and on a different way, but with similar goal with the X-Road, provide an, uh, security features for that exchange, exchanges. So in the last slide, uh, there is a reference of some of our work. We um, discussed with uh, IETF, Etsy, and Open Banking about HTTP signature specification. We want to provide metadata through Open API. That's the thread before. We provide the online checker for Open API files 
that I show in the previous slides. We are uh, in touch with uh, other communities to support our guidelines into software products. An interesting point is that the IETF, there is an IETF proposal for an HTTP API work group to work on deprecation header, rate limit headers, signature and similar features. We would like to discuss this with other member states and join this work group and support this work group proposal with other member states. Then there are a couple of work we are doing inside the Italian Digital Transformation Department. Uh, we are contributing the digest header revision to the IETF and we drafted a proposal for red limit headers that is supported by other European Union organization and that has been implemented by Kong, API Cast and Envoy Proxy uh, open source software. And in OpenAPI, uh, we managed to include the summary info, info summary field and the mutual TLS support for mutual TLS authentication in the new specification that will be delivered uh, in the 3.1 of OpenAPI. Well, that's all, folks. Um, sorry for the slides, but that's it. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I'm ready for questions if you if you have. So thank, thanks, Roberto, for your very interesting presentation. You've introduced uh, approaches and solutions that Italy uses to adopt APIs in the digital infrastructure, uh, including tools uh, to ensure harmonization of the APIs legal actions uh, such as normative innovation, um, uh, platform creation for a specific common capabilities such as authorization and authentication. And um, indeed also thank you for, for uh, stating uh, the challenges that, uh, that Italy is facing on, on API lifecycle security and, and standards. I think this is a, a good point to, to, to start uh, uh, moving and discussing uh, these uh, topics um, with with uh, with all of us uh, in the in the discussion panel. I think that we we are a little bit uh, behind the schedule, ten minutes. Uh,